Tom, thanks very much. A beautiful evening here in Detroit to start, so the weather's going to be great for this uh, opener. Obviously, it's a vital three-game set. Both clubs know it. Uh, Brad Osmus said, I told my players, just concentrate on one thing, and that's the game tonight. Don't worry about anything else, and that's basically uh, what, the, what both teams have to do. Yeah, I think all the managers that have that uh, team hunting for the postseason are telling their seams this. You have to take one game at a time right now. The Orioles are no different. Buck Showalter gave them the same message, and I think the players players understand that. I mean, it's a nice group of veteran players on both sides of the ball. Uh, very good matchup this weekend. I think it's all going to come down to the pitching. Who's going to be able to contain these offenses? I think Kevin Gosman obviously has stepped up real nicely here recently with the uh, three wins. Definitely uh, He's kind of maturing, it seems, right in front of our eyes. He's, something has clicked for Kevin Gosman. The only concern I think we should have is this is not a heavy uh, left-handed lineup. Kevin yep. Gosman has had great success all year long against lefties, and the last three teams he's faced, Houston, Washington, and the New York Yankees, pretty heavy with the lefty hitters. This uh, Tigers lineup, all righties. One yeah, nine. Brad made sure of that when he put this lineup together. He said that was his number one priority. He took a look at the lefty-righty matchup, said that's what I'm going with. How However, if you look at the numbers that Kevin Gosman is putting up of late, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, it really is. And uh, it's because of his secondary pitches. Obviously, the ability to locate his fastball has come up huge for Kevin Gosman. You look at the numbers. I mean, how impressive is this? 19 innings without an earned run. And when you face a team back-to-back -back, like you did the New York Yankees who are having a really strong run here to the postseason, you have to do something pretty special. And he is doing it. He's got great command of his split finger. Talked about it sailing down and away from the lefties. But how is he going to contain these righties? And his slider has been a lot better. He's been able to bury it off the fastball. So you'll see him throw a fastball hard away and try to throw a hard slider down there and try to bounce it to keep the righties honest. And he's also taking chances, which I've noticed here recently. He's throwing the change split finger into the right-handers. A risky pitch, but it's been very effective for him. And the uh, Orioles, of course, live and die by the home run. Over 50% of their runs have come off homers this year. This is a ballpark where you, if you keep with in the power alleys and center, you really got to drive a ball to get it out. You got to pull one to get it out in this yard. We'll see how that affects the power game of the Orioles. But in any event, this this looks like a tremendous three-game setup.